احمده و نسلی على رسوله الكریم اما بعد now we are at the last section or last ruku of سورت الحج اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم یا ایوہ الناس ضرب مسن فاستمعو له ان اللذین تدعون من دون اللہ لن يقلقو زبابا ولو اجتمعو له وَإِنْ يَسْلُبْهُمُ الزُّبَابُ شَيْئًا لَا يَسْتَنْقِذُوهُ مِنْهُ ضَعُفَ الطَّالِبُ وَالْمَطْلُوبُ مَا قَدَرُ اللَّهَ حَقَّ قَدْرِهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَقَوِيٌّ عَزِيزٌ اللہ يَسْتَفِي مِنَ الْمَلَائِكَةِ رُسُلًا وَمِنَ النَّاسِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ سَمِيعٌ بَصِيرٌ يَعْلَمُ مَا بَيْنَ عَيْدِيهِمْ وَمَا خَلْفَهُمْ وَإِلَى اللَّهِ تُرْجَعُ الْأُمُورِ یا یو الزین عام نور کا وسجد وابدو رب وفال خیر لعلکم تفلح و جاہد فلّہ حق جہادی ہو اجتبا کم وما جال علیکم فدین من حرج ملتا بی کم ابراہیم ہو سما کم المسلمین من قبل و فی حاضہ لیکون الرسول شہید علیکم و تکون شہدا الناس فاقیم الصلاۃ و آت الزکات و آتسم بلّہ ہوا مولا کم فن امل مولا و نعم النصیر صدق اللہ العظیم ایز آئی سیٹ بیفور دس از ون آف دی موسٹ پروفاؤنڈ پلیسز آف دی قرآن ایز ایز آئی سیٹ لاسٹ نائٹ اس دی جنرل رول ود دی سوراز آف قرآن that the ayat with which a surah begins and the ayat with which a surah ends. They are usually very comprehensive, very profound. And this is a very outstanding example. The first section of this surah was most profound about resurrection. Ya ayyuhal nas, in kuntum fi raibim min al baas, fa inna khalaqnaakum min turabin, summa min nutfatin, summa min alaqatin, and so on and so forth. And this is actually a summary of the call of Qur'an which we find in these six ayat of the last section. But here this call of Qur'an has been divided into two parts. One part of the call of Qur'an is for the all mankind. Hindu, Sikhs, Christians, anybody. Because Muhammad was sent for the whole of humanity, not for Arabs. ممار سلنا کا اللہ کا فتح لنا سے بشیر و نصیرہ now this call is for ایمان to them we can't say you should pray he must first believe in Allah he must first believe in the resurrection he must believe in revelation he must believe in Quran he must believe in Muhammad then we can say you should pray you should fast so any invitation for any action or deed is for the believers who say we believe. So these are two parts. Those people who don't believe, who are outside the pale of Islam, they are addressed here, Ya Yuhannas, O mankind. In four ayat, the basic three articles of faith, Tawheed versus Shirk, then Iman bin Risala, institution of messengerhood, and then Qiyamah and Resurrection. These are the basic things which must be accepted by a person to be able to be addressed as Ya Ayyuhal Lazeen Amanu. But then the last two ayat, they are Ya Ayyuhal Lazeen Amanu. Now the call is for action. Whosoever says I believe in Allah and in Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and in Quran and in his action, now he has to do something. So the first call is the call to Quran, to, to Iman and this is for the whole mankind. The second part of call is the call of action. But here they are addressed who say we believe. Ya ayyuhal ladheen amanu zoreba masalun fastabihu lah. Now those who don't believe, at that time they were the 
worshippers of the idols. So, to them a similitude is being struck, O mankind, a similitude is struck. So, listen it attentively. Fastamiyaula. Samiya yasmao to listen and istama yasmao to listen attentively. This is the word which appears in Quran in Surah Al-Araf. Faiza kore al-Quranu fastamiyu lahu. When Quran is recited, you must listen to it very attentively. What is that similitude? Inna lazina tadruna min dun Allah. These idols, these gods, whom you are calling upon besides Allah. They can't even create a fly. What to speak of the creation of these heavens and earth and this moon and sun? Although they might gather together, all of them, but they can't create. Creator is only one. And this they accept it. If you ask them who created the heavens and earth, they will say Allah. They didn't say that these idols or these, you know, Laat, Manat, Uzza, they have created the world. Creator, they accept it. He was Ulla only. And if the fly snatches away something from them, they cannot take it back from them. Very feeble is indeed the seeker and the sought. Now these three words, Zarufat Talib Wal Matloof, they are most basically philosophical words. Every human being has some ideal in his life. And if a human being doesn't have an ideal in his life, some goal in life, some aim, some Rasmul Ain, then he is just like animals. He is not a human being at all. The animals don't have any aim of life. You are using them. You are exploiting them. But the human beings, if he is real human being, he has a goal. He has fixed some ideal for him. Some adarsh in, the, in, in Hindi they say adarsh. Nasmurayan in Arabic. Some goal, some ideal. Now if the ideal is low, that man will also be low in character. The ideal is high. The character of that person will also rise. Corresponding. If the ideal is low, then you are low in morality. If your ideal is high, you yourself go up in morality and character. Now, actual matloob is Allah. You must love Him. He is the matloob. As we have in Surah Al Baqarah. Those who believe. They have the, the strongest love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the matloob. Who is matloob? La matlooba illallah. La maqsooda illallah. La mahmooba illallah. This is the crux of tawheed. La matlooba illallah. If Allah is matloob, your character will go up and up and up. Just like, so to say, the character of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. His matloob was Allah. But whosoever has a lower ideal, then he will himself steep low in morality. Ma qadarullah ka qadrehi. They have not esteemed Allah with the true esteem due to him. Now what concept we have of Allah? These mushrikeen, they thought he's a big king. Okay. He's a big king. But the king has also, you know, there are, there are ranks and files in the armies. And the king is nothing without the army. So, Allah has also some subordinates and He needs their help. So, that was, and that is the shirk that they have committed. Because they couldn't understand, they couldn't think that Allah can be so powerful that He doesn't need anybody. He can control the whole universe Himself. He has created angels, but not that because He needs them. He has created, but He can control the whole universe every moment. Himself. So Allah is very powerful, very powerful, omniscient, omnipotent. So there can be no higher ideal than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If somebody can esteem Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the true esteem, he will have him only as the ideal and matloob and nothing else. 
ماں قدر اللہ حق کا قدر ان اللہ قوی العزیز ویری لی اللہ از ویری پاور فل اسٹرانگ مائٹی ناؤ کمز دی سیکنڈ آرٹیکل آف فیتھ اینڈ دیٹ از دی انسٹیٹیوشن آف میسنجر ہڈ اللہ یستفی من الملائے کا تیر سلن و بن الناس ناؤ دس میسنجر شپ آف اللہ ہیز ٹو لنکس اللہ ہیز ٹو سینڈ ڈاؤن ہز میسج ٹو دی کامن ہیومن بینگس He takes two links. First of all, he gives his message to the angel. He is closer to Allah. He was created out of light. So Allah gives this message to whom? To the angel. Now angel brings it to the man who has been selected. Muhammad, for example, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So there are two messengers in between. Now Muhammad conveys the, the message to, the, to his fellow men, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So from Allah to these common people, there are two links in between. The one messenger is the angel. The other messenger, he is also a messenger. He has brought the message from Allah to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So messenger number one is the angel. Messenger number two is the messenger from among human beings. It was, sometimes it was Nuh, sometimes it was Hud, sometimes it was Saleh, sometimes it was Moses, sometimes it was Jesus, sometimes it was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. اللہ یستفی من الملائے کا تیر وسلم ومن الناس اللہ چوزز فرام ان اینجلس آلسو میسنجرس اینڈ فرام مین کائنڈ آلسو ان اللہ سمیع بصیر ویری لی اللہ از آل سینگ آل لسننگ یا علم ما بین آدیم و ما خلف ہوں ہی نوز وٹ ایور از بفور دیم اینڈ وٹ ایور از ان بہائنڈ دیم وائل اللہ تر جو لمور اینڈ آل دی میٹرز ول فائنلی بی ریٹرن ٹو اللہ فار فائنل ججمنٹ This is resurrection and this is the day of judgment. So these are the three articles of faith which have been summarized here in four ayat. Tawheed versus Shirk. Institution messengerhood. This messengerhood continuing to, con, being consisting of two links. The angel messenger and the man, human messenger. And then returning to the Lord for the final judgment and for the reward. Now the address comes to those who say we believe in these things. Now you and I, we are being addressed. Ya ayyuh allazina amanu. Oh, those who believe, who profess to believe, who say, who claim that they believe in Allah and His unity, and they believe in the institution of messengerhood, and that Muhammad is the last messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and Quran is the last message of Allah, and who believe in resurrection and they are the life hereafter. Now, There are commands for action. Ya ayyuh ladhina amanur ka'u. Bow before your Lord. Was judu. Prostrate before your Lord. Wa'abudu rabbakum. And worship and be bondsman to your Lord. I explained this ibadah. It has two elements. Total obedience. Total obedience. And strong love for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ruku sujood. These are the two members of Salah, our namaz, our prayer. But then you should not only pray, you should not only fast, you should not only do the Hajj. You have to obey Allah in all of your life, all aspects. Your individual life, your collective life, your community life, your political life. Everywhere you have to be a bond's man to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَعَبُدُوا رَبَّكُمْ وَفَعَلُوا الْخَيْرِ Something more also. Do good deeds. Now the question can arise. The Salah has been mentioned. Ruku has come. Sajda has come. And total obedience has come. Now what remains? For which there is these words. Wafalul khaira. You know, obedience is to the command that has been given. Do this. Don't do this. This is obedience. Over and above that. If you devote yourself for the service of mankind. This is. وَفْعَلُوا الْخَيْرِ خَيْرُ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَنْفَعُوا النَّاسِ When you have paid zakah, well, you have done your duty. Obedience is okay. But no, spend more, give more. Till such time, retain with you only what is necessary for you. Don't retain anything which is extra, surplus with you. Give it away. So this is وَفْعَلُوا الْخَيْرِ This is not obligatory. This is voluntary. You can do it if you like. If you don't want, don't do it. 
but bafalul khair but service of humanity now there are i once i made a speech here in some hotel in function of this very center the service has three levels number 1 you feed a hungry it's a service to mankind you arrange for treatment for a sick person it's a service okay and this concept of service is common to all humanity hindus sikhs parsis isais they are low these are good deeds everybody must do it but then there is the service number 2 and that is the real service try to save them from the fire of hell if you have fed them here the fire of hunger in their stomachs you know you have extinguished but they are going to be thrown into the fire of hell forever and you are not caring for that so dawa ila allah call towards allah so that these people can be saved from the eternal fire of hell that is the biggest service this was the service you know that, that general service muhammad was doing from the very beginning before bahi had started to look after the orphans and the widows and to feed the hungry that he was doing already but after the wahi started now what was the service which he was doing to save people from the fire of hell calling them to the right path oh people take to the right path come to sirat e mustaqim believe in allah alone worship him alone so that you are saved from the doom in the hereafter and the third level is to establish the just social order here in this world you are feeding the hungry good work but why are they hungry they are hungry due to the unjust distribution of wealth in your system the wealth has been accumulated with certain people and the rest are going hungry now you are feeding the hungry but you are keeping that system as such you must shatter this system and you should establish the system of social justice so that hunger is eliminated otherwise how many hungry will you be able to feed you must change this system and this is called iqamatud din to establish the system of social justice that has been given by allah subhanahu wa taala in the form of deenul haq through muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam so these are the three levels of service to humanity now you do these four things la'allakum tuflihun only then you can hope to have salvation don't think that only because you say we believe you have the salvation oh no tilka amaniyum they are this is their wishful thinking they have fabricated these aqaid for them there's no guarantee from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala la'allakum tuflihun Oh, you who believe, oh, you who profess to believe, bow before your Lord, prostrate before your Lord, be a total obedient and servant to Him, and do good deeds so that you attain salvation. Now, if salvation can be attained without these things, this is meaningless passage. Then it is conditional. While Hasr inna linsana lafi khusr illa lazid amanu wa amir salihate wa tawasa bil haqqi wa tawasa bil sabr. the starting point of that selected course of study of quran which i mentioned in my last lecture the basis is surah al asr by the token of time by the fleeing time all mankind is doomed except those who come to believe and who do good deeds and who exhort each other something which is true and good and they exhort each other to persevere in the way of truth unless you fulfill these four conditions you are doomed in the same way if you want to have the salvation ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu rkau wasjudu wa abudu rabbakum wa falul khaira la'allakum tuflihun and this is not all wa jahidu fillahi haqqa jihadi and make jihad in the way of allah as much as is the right of allah He is your creator. He is your sustainer. Just imagine how much right he has over you, and how much are you working for him? 
And what is what this jihad for? To establish that system of social justice. Do you have to make jihad? These exploiters will never give up their exploitation. These oppressors are never ready to give up their oppression. These discriminators, they will never give up discrimination. You, have, you will have to fight them out. Muhammad had to fight them out. There can be no better preacher, no better teacher than Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. But he had to go to fight against those people. Otherwise, injustices cannot be finished. Exploitations cannot be put an end to. These things will continue. Jahidu fillahi haqqa jihad. Make jihad in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As much as he is the right of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he has, he has chosen you who was tabakum. Be merry. Rejoice. You are a chosen one. This ummah has been chosen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have read the ayah in Surah Al Imran. Kuntum khaira ummatin ukhridat lil nas ta'amuruna bil ma'roof wa tanhauna anil murkar. You have been raised for the purpose, for the benefit of the humanity at large. Your mission is to enjoin upon humanity whatever is correct, to forbid them from whatever is wrong and munkar. And you should have faith in Allah. He has selected you. You are the chosen one. This word ishtiba. And we had the word istifa. Allahu yastafi bin al malaikat rasulan. We read it. And from istifa is the word mustafa. Muhammad mustafa. And for ishtiba is mujtaba. Ahmad mujtaba. This word is used for the, for the messengers. So as an ummat we are messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah sent his messenger Muhammad. And Muhammad assigned this messengerhood to us on the day of his last pilgrimage when he said, now the burden has shifted from my shoulders to yours. فَلْيُبَلِّغِ شَاهِدُ الْغَائِبَ جَاهِدُ فِي اللَّهِ حَقَّ جِهَادِهِ هُوَ اجْتَبَاكُمْ He has selected you. وَمَا جَعَلَ عَلَيْكُمْ فِي الدِّينِ مِنْ حَرَجْ And he has put no impediments in your way in religion. مِلَّةَ عَبِيكُمْ إِبْرَاهِيمِ because the first addressees are who? Banu Ismail. So this deen which Muhammad has brought for you, well, this is the deen of Ibrahim, your, your grandfather. Abikum Ibrahim, huwa sammakum al Allah has given you the name of Muslimin. You are the people who have surrendered themselves to the will of Allah. Min qablu wa fi haza, before also or here also. Le yakun al rasul wa shahidan alaykum. So that our messenger becomes witness against you. He will stand on the day of judgment and testify, Oh Allah, your message which came to me through Jibreel, I had conveyed to them. Now they are responsible. They are accountable. In this same way, you will be required to stand up and say, Oh Allah, the message which we received through Muhammad, we had conveyed it to the whole humanity. And if we fail to do it, then we are the culprits. The blame will come to us. People can sue us in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh Allah, they had your book. They claimed that they are the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But they never conveyed to us your message. Never. Rather, their own actions were just contrary. They were saying something else, doing something else. This is the position. لَا يَكُونَ الرَّسُولُ شَهِيدًا عَلَيْكُمْ وَتَكُونُ شُهَدَاء عَلَى النَّاسِ فَأَقِيمُ الصَّلَاةَ وَآتُ الزَّكَاةَ So establish salah and zakah وَأَتَسِبُوا بِاللَّهِ And cling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hold fast to Him. هُوَ مَوْلَاكُمْ He is your protector. فَنِعْمَ الْمَوْلَى How good a protector He is. فَنِعْمَ الْنَّسِيرِ how fine a helper he is. Now we come to the next surah, Al-Mu'minun. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. The first section of this surah, rather half of it, is also one of the most important lessons of that selected course of study. It gives us the foundations on which the character of a true Mu'min can be built. We have to build the character. Unless we have the character of Mu'mineen, we won't be able to work for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We won't be able to, to make jihad in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. First of all, the individual character has to be on that pattern. What are the foundations on which this building of character 
اور سیرا آف اے ٹرو مومن کین بی بلڈ قد اف لحل مومنون ویریلی دی بلیورس ہیو آلریڈی اٹین سلویشن ویری گڈ نیوز ہو آر دوز بلیورس اللہ دین ہوں فی سلاد ہم خاش ہو ہمبل ان دیئر پریئرس ون دے آر پریئنگ دے آر ویری ہمبل و لدین ہوں مانی لگ میں مور دون اینڈ دوز ہو کیپ اوے فرام وین تھنگس یوز لیس تھنگس وٹ وی کال پیس ٹائمس وائی دس ٹائم از ویری پریشیس آئیڈر یو شوڈ بی اسپینڈ سو دیٹ سم نیڈ آف دس ورلڈ از فلفلڈ نیڈ ریئل نیڈ اور دس ٹائم شوڈ بی اسپینڈ to earn something, some reward for the hereafter. Not to waste. To pass time is not a problem. This is the most precious capital we have. We have the only capital in this time that we have. Whatever we can make for the hereafter is in this time. So we can't waste it in vain things. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ لِزَّكَاتِ فَعِلُونَ And those who keep on doing zakat, because this is This surah revealed in early Makki period. So zakat here doesn't mean the institutional zakat. That is one of the pillars of Islam. But the process of zakat. Continually giving away alms to the needy, to the poor. This is continuous process of purification of yourselves and your wealth. If you have given the due of the poor, then your, your wealth is now pure. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ لَفُرُوجِهِمْ حَافِظُونَ And those who guard their private parts, their sexual urge, they control it. Illa ala azwajihim. Except in regard to their wives, au ma malaka taimanuhum. Or those whom their right hands possess, the concubines. Only two. Here, fa innahum gairu malumin. In this case, they are not blameworthy. Sex is not an evil in itself. It's only evil when some unlicensed, unpermitted way you adopt. Otherwise, with your wife, with your concubines, it's okay. No blame. It's not evil. It's not bad. It's the normal requirement of nature. It's the normal requirement of society. Just as you want to preserve yourself, you want to preserve your species. And this is the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prescribed. But whosoever exceeds from their wife and concubines, and then he exceeds, goes somewhere else. That is adultery. Then they are the transgressors. And those who keep their trust and covenants, guard them, whatever promise they have made, whatever amana, trust, they have been trusted with something, they guard them. وَالَّذِينَ هُمْ عَلَىٰ صَلَوَاتِهِمْ يُحَافِظُونَ Those who guard over their prayers at proper time, with proper, you know, method, established in congregation, offering namaz, offering salah in congregation. Such people will be the inheritors. Inheritors are what? Allazina ya Rasul al Firdaus. Who will inherit the gardens of paradise? Hum fiha khalidun. And they will live in them forever, forever. Now come these ayat, which in the first section of Surah Al Hajj also. Inna khalaknaagum min turabin, summa min nutfatin. سُمَّ مِنْ عَلَقَةٍ سُمَّ مِنْ مُزْغَةٍ مُخَلَّقَةٍ وَغَيْرَ مُخَلَّقَةٍ This process, this embryonic process, the process of embryology. And this is the most important place in Quran for the description of these stages of evolution of a human fetus. وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانَ مِنْ سُلَالَةٍ مِنْ تِينَ And we have created man out of the extract of mud. The mud extract. Whatever we eat, where from is it coming? From the mud. So, the, this is the extract of the mud that is giving us power, strength, energy. Summa jalna hu nutfatan fi qarari makin. 
then the next stage was we put him as a sperm drop in the safe lodging of the wall of the womb of the mother now it is there for some time summa khalaqna nutfata alaqatan then we create from this nutfa alaqa now this word had been translated till this time as a clot but there's no basis of this translation alaqa alaqa is something which is muallaq hanging muallaq ho jana hanging because now the next stage is that it is attached to the wall of the womb of the mother just as a leech hanging this is alaqa this is the third stage that is why you know this embryologists in toronto university and they wrote it that these stages as they are described in quran it's wonderful we could never see imagine that 1400 years ago when there was no microscopes no dissections how this description has been able dr keith al moor his textbook on embryology is read all the world over and he says this so ma khalaqna nutfata alaqatan fa khalaqna al alaqata mudghatan and then this alaqa we create out of it a lump of flesh fa khalaqna al mudghata izaman from this lump of flesh we create bones fa kasana al izama al ahma and then we clothe these bones with flesh with muscles summa anshanahu khalqan akhir and then we raise him to another creation what is this another creation khalqan akhir because at this stage the angel is sent and the ruh the spirit that was there in the stores in the alam e abr that ruh is brought by the angel and now blown into this fetus now it is human being before that it was a living creature not a human being adam when was created faza sawaytuhu wa nafaktu fihi min ruhi faqa'u lahu sajidin he passed through all the stages of creation and then you all the finishing touches were given to him then when allah blow, blow blew into him from his own spirit now he became adam and this process is repeated in the womb of the mother every human child this is a hadith from abdullah ibn masud رضي الله تعالى عنه متفق عليه بخاري مسلم both the prophet said for 40 days you are a sperm nutfa another 40 days you are alaqa another 40 days you are buzgha after 120 days allah sends fa yursalul malak the angel is sent fa yanfakhu fihi ruh and he blows into the the ruh the ruh doesn't mean life it was not dead matter already it was a living matter very much living the sperm was very much living very mobile very active and even the ovum that has come from the mother side is a living thing so every in all these stages for 120 days it was not a dead thing dead matter it was living but it was not human till such time that the angel comes and then he blows and joins that ruh with it and here quran says summa anshanahu khalqan akhar now another creation which we have taken fa tabarak allah ahsan al khaliqin so allah is best of the creators and blessed summa innakum ba'da zalika lamayyatun then after this all of you will have to die you have come in this world but then that is to come summa innakum yawm al qiyamati tubasun then there will come a day a day of resurrection when you will be raised again so this is so simple if you could create you from dust can't he create you again the sequence you know it itself shows there's nothing it's just logical whosoever has done this up till now he can do this also wala qad khalaqna fawqakum sab'a taraiq and we have built over you seven heavens wama kunna anil khalqi ghafilin and we have never been unaware of our makhluq of our creation we know each and everything of the creation wanzalla min samaa'i maan bi qadar and we send down water from the heaven in a measure with an estimated amount 
فاس کرنا ہو فل لڑ دندن میک اٹ سیٹل ان دی لینڈ ان دی ارتھ وہ انا اللہ زہاب بہ القادر اینڈ وی آر پاور فل وی کین ٹیک اٹ اوے فرام یو وین ایور وی لائک دس واٹر وچ از گوئنگ ٹو بی اے ویری بگ پرابلم شارٹیج آف واٹر دا ٹائم از سون کمنگ دس فیمنس اینڈ ڈراؤٹس ہاؤ مینی ڈراؤٹس ان انڈیا اور ان مینی کنٹریز واٹر از گوئنگ ٹو بی اے پرابلم اف اللہ ٹیکس اٹ اوے ہو ول برنگ اٹ بیک اینڈ نا اللہ زہاب بہ القادر وی آر ویری مچ پاور فل وی کین ٹیک اٹ اوے فرام یو فان شان الکم بہ جنات من نخیل بٹ دین with this water we have raised for you the gardens of palm dates and and you know vines and grapes lakum fiha fawakiha kasiratan in these things you have many fruits wa minha taakulu and also food you eat out of them wa wa shajarat an takhruju min tur sina and that tree which comes out from the mount of sina that is olive tree with dohan it grows with oil the olive oil it is coming from a tree was simgin lil akilin and it is a sauce for the eaters they used to eat you know their bread touch it with with this olive oil and eat it it was just like you know a sauce wa inna lakum fil anam al ibra and there is for you a lesson in your cattle نسخی کو مما فی بتون ہا وی گو یو ٹو ڈرنک فرام وٹ از ان دیئر بیلیز دی ملک ویئر ڈز اٹ کم فرام فرام دیئر بیلیز ولیکم فی ہا منافع و کثیرت اینڈ یو ہیو سو مینی پرپز از فلفلڈ تھرو دیز کیٹل ومن ہا تاکلو اینڈ سم آف دیم یو ایٹ دیئر دیئر میٹ دیٹ از اے سورس آف پروٹین فار یو وہ الفل کے تخ ملون اینڈ آن دیز کیٹل and on the ships you are carried you are carried by the horses by the camels mules and donkeys and these boats and ships walaqad arsalna nuhan ila qaumihi and we had sent nuh to his nation fa qala ya qaum ibudullah and he said to them oh my people worship allah ma lakum min ilahin ghayru you don't have any other god except him afala tattaqun don't you fear allah فقال المال الذين كفروا من قومه the chieftains from his nation from his people who disbelieved him said ما هذا الا بشر مثلكم oh people this no is not nothing but a bashar a man a mortal man human being like you يريد ان يتفضل عليكم he wants to be superior over you so that you believe him and he becomes your leader and ruler so he is ambitious he wants power ولو شاء الله لانزل ملائكه اف الله هاد تو سند سم مسنجر هي كود سند سم انجل ات مينز دي بيليفد ان الله بيكوز دي ور مشركس يو نو هو از ذا مشرك ا مشرك از دي وان هو بيليف ان دي الله دي بيج الله دي جريت الله ان عليها سمول اللهز وذ ذيم سمول اله وذ ذيم دي كاب دي دي جاد وذ كابيتال جي جاد اومني بوتنت اومني سينت omnipresent but gods and goddesses with is small g numberless numerous this is the game mahadev one devis and devatas beshumar endless so ma samena bihaza fi abain alawwalin had allah subhanahu wa taala wanted to send a messenger he could send an angel and we have not <coughs> heard about these things in our four fathers what this nu is saying in who illa rajulun bihi jinna we think that this is a person either he has been possessed by jinns or some madness has come to him fatarabbasu so, so just wait see what happens with him don't you know accept him and don't believe in him hastily fatarabbasu bihi hatta in first for a while you wait qala rabbin surni bima kazzabun no pray to allah oh allah help me because they have belied me fa hena ilahi so we send the revelation to him an israil full ka bi ayunna wahinna make an ark according to our wahi revelations we shall give instructions how to build it 
and in our before our eyes you build it faiza ja amruna when our command comes wa farat tanur and the oven boils up first look fiha then enter make enter in this ark of yours min kulli zawjan isdain a pair two from every kind wa ahlaka and your family also illa man sabaqa alayhi alqaul minhum except against whom the word has already gone forth your son he is kafir he won't come here one of your wives kafir she won't be entered here wala to khatibni fil ladina zalabu and now don't address me don't talk to me about those people who are, have wronged themselves in the hum mughrakun now they are going to be drowned all of them faiza tawaita anta wa man ba'aka al fulk when you are settled you and who those who are with you on the ark faqul alhamdulillah allazi najjana min al qaumi zalimin then say all praise be to allah who has delivered us from these evil doing people wa qur rabb anzilni munzalan mubarakan and then pray to allah oh allah cause me to land a blessed landing when this ark and this you know ship or boat comes to land somewhere it should be a blissful and blessed landing now just remember the dua which was taught to muhammad wa qur rabb adkhilni mudkhala sidqin wa akhrijni mukhraja sidqin waj'al li min ladunka sultanan nasira it's very parallel anzilni manzalan mubarakan oh allah may cause me to land at a blessed landing and you are the best of those who bring to land in the fizalik al ayat in wa in kunna la mutalin in these in this are the signs of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we have been surely we have been testing humanity from the very beginning farsalna summa anshana min badihim qarnan akhirin after them we raised another generation farsalna ilaihim rasulan minhum and then we sent our messenger in them also his name is not taken but he is hazrat hud alaihi salatu wassalam who was sent to the nation of ad anabudullaha malakum min ilahin ghairu the same message he conveyed you should worship and obey allah and you don't have any god except him afala tattaqun so don't you fear him wa qala al malaw min qaumihi and the chieftains from his nation also said alladhina kafaru who had disbelieved him wa kasabu bil liqa'il akhirata akhirate and they have denied that they is going to they have to meet their lord in the hereafter wa atrafnahum fil hayati ad dunya and we had given them wealth affluence in this worldly life what did they say ma hadha illa basharum mislukum this who this nothing but a mortal human being like you yaakulu mimma taakulun he eats the same food which you eat wad yashrabu ma tashbim ma tashrabun and he drinks from which you drink wala in ataatum basharum mislukum and if you obey and follow a man like you innakum idhal khasirun then you are the losers well we have the right you should obey us but don't obey this ud aur nu aur sale ayaidukum annakum iza bittum wa kuntum turaban wa izama does he promise with you that when you are dead and you have become dust and bones innakum is mukhrajun you will again be taken out as living from your graves hai hat hai hat alima tu adun unbelievable unbelievable what promise has is being given to you in hi illa hayatun ad dunya there is no life for us except the life of this world namut wa dahya we ourselves die we ourselves live wa ma nahnu bi mabusin and we are not going to be resurrected in huwa illa rajul niftara ala allah kaziban this fellow this hud alayhi salatu wassalam he is but a person who has forged lies against allah subhanahu wa taala wa ma nahnu lahu bi mu'minin we are not going to believe in him qad rabb insurni bima kazzabun the same prayer hazrat hud made to allah o oh allah help me because they have belied me qala amma qalilin fala yusbihunna nadimin allah said okay in a very little while they will be repentant on and they will become repentant on what they have been doing fa akhadathum as-sayhat bil haqq so they were seized by a shout with with truth fa ja'alnahum ghusa and we made them all this scum like scum fa ba'dal liqaumi zalimin 
so away for the for this evil doing people subhan shana mim badim karun nakhirin then we raised after them other, other generations ma tasbiqu min ummatin ajalaha wa ma yastakhirun no ummat could hasten the term that allah had fixed for them nor it could delay it the time promised time when that came they were destroyed so marsalna rusulana tatra then we kept on sending our messengers one by one one after the other mutawatir tatra kullama ja ummatan rasuluha whenever a messenger came to any people kazabu they denied him belied him fat baada baadahum baada so we sent them one after the other we destroyed them one after the other wajalnahum ahadees and now we have made them stories and history there was a nation called ad and there was a nation called subud and there was the cities of sodom and gomorrah and there was a nation called madian now all they are stories ثم ارسلنا موسى واخاه هارون باياتنا وسلطان مبين and then in the end we may say we sent musa alayhi salatu wasalam and his brother harun with our signs miracles was sultan mubin and clear authority ila firaun wa malaihi to firaun and his chieftains fastakbaru they became arrogant wa kanu qauman alin and they were very self exalting people faqalu they said no men only bashar are muslim na shall we believe in two persons two human beings who are just like us wa qaumu huma lana abidun and their nation their community is slave to us they belong to our slave nation they belong to bani israel musa and harun and bus and this bani israel are slaves how come they stand before us and say obey us we are the messengers of allah we are the representatives of your lord you have to obey us who are they they are the people of our slave nation wa qaumuhuma lana abidun fa kazabuhuma so they belied both of them fa kanu min al muhlakin but then they became from those among those who were destroyed and finished wa laqad atayna musa al kitab la allahum yahtadun but then we made we gave musa the book torah so that the people take to the right path wajalna ibn maryam wa ummuhu aya and in the same way we made maryam salamun alaiha ibn maryam son of maryam wa ummuhu and all his mother hazrat isa and hazrat maryam aya we made them also a sign wa awayna huma ila rabwatin zati qarar wa ma'in and we gave them refuge shelter on a mount on a hillock where there was running springs ya ayyuhar rusul o our messengers kulu min at-tayyibat eat from whatever is pure wa amalu saliha and do good deeds inni bima ta'maluna alim whatever you are doing we know it i know it wa inna hadhihi ummatukum ummatan wahida and this is the ummah of all of you and this is one ummah all the messengers belong to one ummah they were all muslims they were all messengers of allah they were all obedient to allah wa ana rabbukum fa'budun fattaqun and i am your lord so fear me only fataqattau amrahum bainahum zubara so they split their matter that is religion between them into different forms kullu hisbim bima ladayhim farihun and every sect is proud of what it has one reality broken into pieces one piece is with him one piece is with him and everybody is rejoicing that i have the total total reality while they have the partial realities with them fazarhum fi ghabratihim hatta hin so prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam leave them in their bewilderment for a time ayahsabun annama numidduhum bihi min mali wa bani do they think that actually we are assisting them when we are giving them wealth and sons nusare lahum fil khairat they think that we are giving them good nay bal la yashurun they don't know 
बिकॉज एक्चुअली दिस इज वेल्थ एंड दिस सन्स दे विल बिकम द बेसिस ऑफ देयर चेस्टाइसमेंट इन दिस वर्ल्ड वी हैव ट्वाइस दिस मज मून यू नो इन सूरत तोबा दिस सब्जेक्ट हैज कम इन नमा यूरीद बेहाफिल हयात दुनिया व तज हकान फसोम व हम काफिर तो डोंट बी इम्प्रेस्ड बाई दी वेल्थ एंड दी बॉडीज ऑफ दीज मुनाफिकीन ट्वाइस इन सूरत तोबा बिकॉज अल्लाह सुबह वांट्स to give them the chastisement and punishment in this world by this wealth you have much wealth now you have lost some and you are gone despaired you have incurred a loss you had a son he died and you are despaired maybe the son has gone astray now he is against you he is standing before you and you call conversing with you at equal level and you how grieved you are he was his by son I raised him, and today he is he is talking with me as equal, rather my superior. So this azab comes through wealth, and also through sons and daughters. In the lazina whom in khushiyat e rabbi mushfikun, verily those who are in awe, in awe, who remain in awe for the fear of their Lord, wa lazina whom be ayat e rabbi him yuminun, and those. who believe in the signs and revelations of their lord wal ladina hum bi rabbihim la yushrikun and those who do not associate anybody anyone with their lord wal ladina yutuna ma ata and those who give what they give whatever they spend wa qulubuhum wajila and their hearts are full of fear annahum ila rabbihim raji'un that they are going to be to return to their lord amma man khafa maqama rabbihi wa nahan nafsan al hawa final janna tahil bawa whosoever keeps fearing that a day will come when he will have to stand before his lord for this accountability so that person you know and he restrains the lust of his nafs nahan nafs anil hawa well he for him is the janna ulaika yusari'una fil khairat wa hum laha sabiqun these are the people who are racing with each other for good good deeds virtues and they are the foremost in these things wala nukallifu nafsan illa wusaha we are not going to hold responsible any soul except according to its capacity we know every person every human being what we have given him what were the genes with which his body was formed what were the environments in which he was living where he was born in china or japan or hindustan or where what were the environment where he was raised keeping all these factors in view then we shall judge them how good how much good he could do in these circumstances if he has attained it okay he is successful if he fails he fails but you know there is not one standard for all the human beings no because different human beings they have been born and they have been created with different backgrounds different genes and they have been brought up in different environments they have different educations all these things will count and keeping all these factors in view allah will then judge between the peoples la nukallifu nafsan illa wusaha we shall hold responsible every soul but only up to the capacity waladaina kitabun yantiqu bil haq and we have the record which tells everything truly he knows what genes were given to me he knows it they are recorded وهو لا وهم لا يظلمون and they will not be wronged بل قلوبهم في غمرة من هذا but these the hearts of these people they are covered and blind about these things ولهم أعمال من دون ذلك and they are busy in some other types of activities luxuries and you know enjoying and just بابر بعش كوش كي عالم دوبارة نيس لا هم لا عاملون they are busy in these things hatta iza akhazna mutrafihim bil azab till that time that when we seize the affluent among them with our chastisement izahum yajarun then they begin begum then they begin weeping and mourning and groaning la tajarul yawm allah will say no mourning and groaning today innakum minna la tunsarun now nobody can come to your help against us you have to bear everything قد كانت آياتي تطلع عليكم. My ayat were recited to you. 
حد کام آیا تھی تو اتنا لے تو فکن تم اللہ آقا بکم تن کے سون بٹ یو یوز ٹو ٹرن اوے آن یور ہیلس اینڈ گو اوے لسن ٹو مائی آیات مستقبرین ان ایروگنس وہی سامر تہجرون اینڈ یو یو یوز ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ اٹ ماکنگلی ڈیورنگ دی نائٹ افلم یدبر القول ڈو دے ناٹ پونڈر اوور دس واٹ ہیز بین سیٹ ٹو دیم ام جا ہم مالم یا تے آبا ملین اور دی میٹر از دیٹ ٹو دیم ہیز کم واٹ ڈڈ ناٹ کم ٹو دیئر فور فادرس دس از این اپالوجی فار دیز پیپل اللہ سبحانہ و تعالیٰ از پریزنٹنگ بیکاز دیز پیپل دیز قریش دیز پروجنی آف اسماعیل دے ہیڈ نو پروفٹ نو میسنجر نو بک فار ٹو مور دین ٹو تھاؤزینڈ ایئرس سو دے بیکیم ایبسولیوٹلی ان اویئر آف دیز تھنگس ہم جا ہوں معلوم یا تھے اب ایک تھنگ از کم ٹو دیم وچ ڈیزنٹ کم ٹو دیئر فور فادرس ام لم یار فور رسول ہیو دے ناٹ بین ایبل ٹو ریکگنائز دیئر میسنجر فہم لہو منکرون اینڈ دیٹ از وائی دے آر ڈینائنگ ہم ام یقول نہ بہی جندا ڈو دے سی دیٹ ہی از پوزیس بائی اے جن اور ہی ہیز سم یو نو مینٹل ڈسٹربنس بل جا ہوم الحق نو حق دی ٹروتھ ہیز کم ٹو دیم وہ ہوم اکثر ہوم للحق کے کار ہون اینڈ موسٹ آف دیم ایب ہور دس ٹروتھ وہ لب تب الحق و ہوا ہوم اینڈ اف دی ٹروتھ ہیڈ فالوڈ دیئر لس اینڈ دیئر وشیز اینڈ دیئر ڈیزائرس لا فسد تی سماوات و الارض دین دی ہیونز اینڈ دی ارتھ وڈ ہیو بین کرپٹڈ و من فی ہنا اینڈ وٹ سو ایور از ود ان دیم بل اتائنا ہوم بے ذکر ہیم بٹ وی ہیو براڈ ٹو دیم دیئر ایڈمونیشن They are zikr, reminding for them. For whom an zikr him more adun. But they are, from their admonition and reminding, they are turning away. Am tasalohum kharjan. O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Are you asking some tribute from them? Do you ask for some rewards? You should pay me this salary. I am doing this service to you. Am tasalohum kharjan. For kharaj or abdi ka khair. The tribute that your Lord will pay to you is much better. You are not, not asking them any tribute, any wage. وَهُوَ خَيْرُ الرَّازِقِينَ And definitely, Allah is the best provider. وَإِنَّكَ لَتَدْعُوهُمْ إِلَىٰ صِرَاطِ مُسْتَقِيمِ And O oh Muhammad, you are calling them to the right path. وَإِنَّ الَّذِينَ لَا يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْآخِرَةِ عَنِ السِّرَاطِ لَنَا كِبُونَ And those, those people who don't believe in the hereafter, Actually, they are deviating from the right path. وَلَوْ رَحِمْنَاهُمْ وَكَشَفْنَا مَا بِهِمْ مِن ذُرْدٍ لَلَجُّوا فِي دُغْيَانِهِمْ يَا مَهُونَ And if we had mercy on them, and we had removed the affliction that is upon them, they would persist in their insolence wandering blindly. وَلَقَدْ أَخَزْنَاهُمْ بِالْعَزَابِ And we have seized them with the punishment. Maybe during the, at the time when these ayat were revealed, Some small affliction was there to the Makki people. Just like a famine. You know, it has been the practice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Whenever he sent a messenger to a people, then he sent some hardships, some small chastisements, so that they may be, if they are sleeping, they may wake up. So these are the, you know, things which have been coming before the final annihilation. That is Adab al-Akbar. This ayah is there in Surah Al-Sajda. وَلَا نُزِيقَلْنَهُمْ مِنَ الْعَذَابِ الْأَدْنَى دُونَ الْعَذَابِ الْأَكْبَرِ Before that great chastisement, when they will all be washed off from the surface of the earth, these small chastisements we have been sending so that perchance they wake up from their slumber. وَلَقَدْ أَخَزْنَاهُمْ بِالْعَذَابِ فَمَسْتَقَانُوا لِرَبِّهِمْ We have seized them with chastisement, but they humbled not for their Lord. وَمَا يَتَدَرَّعُون And they are not invoking with submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hatta iza fatahna alayhim baban za abadin shadeedin. Till that time when we open for them the door of a very severe chastisement. Iza hum fihim ublisood. Then they become absolutely despaired and disappointed in it. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Azim. وَنَفَعْنِي وَإِيَّاكُمْ بِالْآيَاتِ وَالذِّكْرِ الْحَكِيمِ